What is up, Prince Squad? I'm back with another video. Okay, I gotta stop using that. Let me do, let me do this other intro. What's up? It's your girl Sin, and I'm back with another video. And if you want to see what I'm gonna be doing today, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. All right, squad. Today I have quite a few orders to be working on. Um. I got one screen printed order that's going to be a front and back print with the same uh, design. Then I have a, um, well, I have another screen printed shirt that's an add on to an order I did a while back. And then I have a birthday shirt that I have to design, which I, that's going to be just be for another video. And I also have a football shirt that I have to do for a parent and a button. So if you guys are interested in seeing how everything turns out, stay tuned. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk over to the back side right here. I already have, um, this is what I'm going to be printing right here. And I already have that on here. Y'all see this screen got a hole in it. I just taped it up on the other side. But I'm going to do my test print. And then that design over there, you see right over there, I will be printing that one. Also, I'm probably going to go ahead and print that one first because I... I only have one shirt for that one and then this other one, you know, I'm going to be printing white shirts and I got like, I think 12 shirts. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Oh, and this light, I'm sorry about that. I, I'm just having issues with lights. I just moved one light from the front to the back. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully y'all, I'll be up out of this place and into my own place. I think that one is just kind of going out right there. That could be the problem. I guess sometime next week I'm going to uh, go ahead and get some lights and try to put them up there and get that situation fixed. But um, what I'm going to do right now is a couple of test prints. Let me see. All right. I need to get some more test pillows. So... And by the way, guys, I did, uh, I saw the guy, you know, my son just had a basketball game and I talked to the guy about the, um, thing about the, y'all know I'm trying to add another thing to my business to, well, it's going to be actually a part of swag, you know, seeing why singers athletic group, but I'll update you guys on that. But I did talk to him and he said they were doing some renovations. That was why nobody haven't contacted me yet, but I will be getting back with y'all on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, do a test print and everything and get started. Plastic. It's a little part. I'm going to have to put a little screen opener on and try to get that opened up. Let me see. try once more because it's just a little part that didn't get ink on it so I'm gonna try it again all right I think it's all good in the hood all right so that's what this one is looking like right right here go ahead and put it on here Run it through and got this one purple shirt right here. I always like to take it under the dryer because you know when you have to like that's a dark color and i'm printing a light color on top of a dark color so sometimes you know you got to do a double layer so i'm gonna i take it up under there just so the shirt can shrink up a little bit if it's going to shrink up any you know sometimes they, they don't but i like to do that just to be safe all right got it back and now the main event Thank <laughs> you. 
One more, one more coat, one more coat. It's not quite as opaque as I would like it. And I don't want to, you know, keep putting extra layers on there. You like to print, you, I mean, you need to print, flash print to get it to lay down the extra layer to make it more opaque. All right. This one should get it. Think that's gonna get it. Yeah, that pretty much got it. Make sure it's not any ink on my hands. Cause that first one wasn't as dry as the second one was. Alright, so here's the the back of this shirt right here now this shirt is gonna have a pocket logo design that's gonna be done in vinyl so I'll let you guys check that out later all right now I'm moving on to the next color I was trying to see which red I was going to use because I have the scarlet red and then I have the um, bright red I don't know, let me check and see which red I'm going to use right quick and then I'm going to get back on video and uh, get to print. Y'all, I can't even get the top off of here. So, look like it's going to be scarlet red because your girl having a hard time getting the top off of here. Let me put on another glove and see if that helps. But yeah, I'm struggling trying to open this. Can't even get it open. There you go. There you go them hook arms. The hook arms is back. All right. All right, so you got your... This is your bright red right here. I don't know if y'all can see it as well. This is your scarlet red right here. Um, Kind of liking this scarlet better. So we're we going to go with the scarlet. We're going to go with the scarlet. I'm going to print the tip. I can't even talk. I'm going to put the test print out with the scarlet. And if I don't like what it looks like, we're going to go with the other red. I'm going to just put enough for one just in case I decide to change the ink. Now, y'all, this design I didn't really like. One reason I didn't like it as much is just using up a whole bunch of extra ink that I didn't think... Did not feel was really necessary. Let me see. Someone just texts me. Nope. It's a notification. But yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show y'all the alternate in a little bit. The alternate version of this. But this is the version that they came up with. This was the version that they that they wanted. So I'm gonna go with that. I was actually trying to. Uh, clean a little bit it was some spots on the screen where it was uh blocked that i didn't want to be blocked so i'm gonna test it out and see what it's looking like let me grab a squeegee So here's what it's looking like right here. I should have dried this slightly, but um, it's a few little spots on here. Like on this eye in Dunny, it's a little spot I gotta get out. And if you look like right up here, like right up here at the top, you can kind of see that little spot right there. So I'm gonna try to get that fixed and I'm gonna get back on here. I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the dryer. 
And then I'm gonna get back with y'all in just a sec. Y'all, I guess I got it. I guess I got it out right. I'm gonna, uh, since I have a few of these smalls, go ahead and print this. using the flash dryer but because it's white and I don't want no damage I'm gonna I'm gonna use the flash dryer yeah but I think everything is just perfect so uh, that's how we gonna go This one all messed up, so I'm not gonna use it. And I'm gonna bring it back around. I'm gonna let you guys check out what I got going on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and print this first side, and then print the back side, and let you guys check it out. All right, so that's what's looking like right there. Go ahead and put it on the dryer. short I'm gonna let you guys check this out and then I'm gonna uh, go to the next order print on the back side Another order 
and it's for a football shirt it's just gonna have a picture and some words on it so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything printed and cut out and then I'm gonna let you guys uh, see it before I press it onto the shirt and watch me press it so um, that'll be the next step see this I don't know if that's from the picture actually no it's on the picture I thought that it was messed up right there but as you see right there it is on the picture I thought there was a messed up spot so we good with that I'm gonna go ahead and um, get everything set up for those so, so that y'all can watch me do those too. All right, I got all my butt making supplies right here. As you guys see, my button's in here, my button maker here. I'm doing a three inch button today. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm only doing one. So I'm gonna pull out a pin back, a pin front, my cutter, and a Mylar sheet. stick that back in there and I'm gonna move the rest out of the way all right so I got my cutting pad right here and I already have the design it's the same design she just wanted one more of those buttons that she got last time I'm gonna cut the bottom one out making sure that everything is lined up all around and then, thank you. All right, so we got got the button popped out right here. So I'm gonna turn it this way so y'all can see better. Hopefully, okay. We got the two sides: the shallow side and the, the deep side. We put the button back in the deep side right here, and then. Let me see which way we turn this it okay i'd be always trying to turn this thing the wrong way 
turn thing or are you gonna turn for me oh this is down that's why i won't turn okay so then we we take our picture actually we take our pen back we take our picture or our design and we take our mylar sheet and then we bring it around here we press that down make sure everything is straight with this then we swing that back around and and voila a perfectly made button right there as you see no mess ups ever with this machine right here so i'm going to put my extras back in here because she may end up getting all of these if not it's just a cheap sheet of paper so i'm going to grab this and i'm gonna put it in the bag with her shirt right here and she'll pick this up tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back up for the three inch button maker because I have one other button I'm going to make. Y'all remember the political shirts I did earlier today? I'm going to show them to y'all right here. The ones, the ones that I did right here, um, they're front and back, same print. Well, I'm going to try to get me a sale out of some political buttons so i'm gonna actually do one button i thought about doing two but i was like you know what the wife came and paid for them and the husband you know they'll probably be the ones that's wearing the buttons but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do one button and um hopefully i can get a sale with that and i'm gonna uh, let you guys check that out all right i created the button in the um in the dr don's button maker on his website if you don't know what what i'm talking about i got links for that below for you guys to check out okay so um right here i have my my button supplies for my two and one fourth button maker which is the badger minute so what i'm going to do i'm going to get my circle cutter and because i have uh sometimes these don't come out perfect i'm going to grab a couple of the supplies and hopefully I can get it right after two or on the hopefully I, I'd rather get it right on the first one but if not I get it right after two so I got everything right here the design is being created over here in Dr. Dr. Dunn's button maker program right here on his website as you see right there um, it's almost done right there let me see it's kind of a glare but you can see it right there and um I'm going to let me see full size print printable layout. So I'm going to download that one, save it, and once it downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and print it out, and I'll show you. I'll let you guys watch me cut it out and print the buttons. All right, I got everything printed out, and y'all, I don't know what's going on with my laser printer. As you see right there, I don't know. So I got my circle cutter. I'm going to cut the one in the middle out. Alright. So we got that cut out right there. And we're going to go with just the first one because I'm going to hope that everything is good with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, take a pin back, place it in here place this one in here and the that then just put this in here just just where it'll be am I putting it in there right I think I am yeah put it in here just where it will cover everything you don't want to put that in there too tight at all because that's how I usually mess them up so then yeah so then i don't even remember what to do next i think you put this one in and the green one and you mash it through okay yeah that's what you do okay so now you flip this over and you mash it through with the red and the next thing you would do is you take your pen back and line it up with the two blue lines right there put the green one on it 
and slide it off. And we got this dude right here that we're going to uh, slide the donut under. I like to call that the donut. And then just mash on it like that. Hopefully that got it. We're going to see. All right. Okay, it did. It made a perfect button. But the only thing is it's, a, it's like a little part of this that's sticking out that I don't really like. So, but y'all see it, you know, it came out okay. Came out okay. I could have sized it a little bit smaller, but that little part. So we're going to do one more. Do one more. And hopefully this time it'll come out perfect. And hopefully I'll find my phone after this. So... We take that and put it there. All right, we got that. And look, part kind of messed up a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna try it again. We got this, and that's the top part. Put that. And that and the mylar and I'm gonna barely barely put this part under here this time barely barely all right that ought to be good enough put the purple and the green pop it through take it out turn it over pop it through with the red Lead a red in. Okay, now we put the pen back. All right, we got the pen back there. And we take the green. We're going to try this once more. Slide the donut and the thing right here. And all right, let's see how this one came out. All right, this one is pretty much a perfect button, y'all. Y'all can check it out right here. Everything came out all right. Um, this side seemed like it could be pushed down a little bit more. I don't know, y'all. Because I'm so used to the perfect buttons, and then like right there, it looks like it's a little bit bunched up. So I don't know. We got three of them right here. I might just toss this first one in, but right here you can check them out. The first one, I think, came out almost perfect, except for this little part of the plastic that's kind of sticking out. But, hey, it's a free button, but, you know, I do want to sell some if they can, if they want, if they're interested. We're going to try this once more. Once more. I want to get a perfect button. Let me grab the supplies right quick. All right, y'all. As I should have expected, the one that I did off camera actually came out the best. So, this is the one I'm going to use. So, right here, as you guys see, I did three that I was not 100% satisfied with. But this one I am satisfied with. So, this will be the one that I put in there. So, I don't know. So, one out of three. But the other day, I was doing them good when I had a few to do. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel and to the T-Shirt Chick Live channel, be sure to do so today. And hit the notification bell on both so that you won't miss out on any of my live streams or future videos. And also, if you're interested in any of the supplies and equipment that I use in my videos, check below this video for links. I, I always leave links for you guys in the description box and also if you are looking to get into the t-shirt business and you don't know where to start I have videos for that links down below for the heat press nation and you can also follow me on Instagram and join the Prince Squad group on Facebook and I will see you guys in another video Prince Squad out